in this video we are going to revise question 9 of uh, mathematics paper 2 for external from the year of 2020 uh, now here the question is in the diagram below shows a position of guava a tree orange tree and lemon tree on a farm so we have been given a triangle and this triangle is a non right angle triangle and whenever you see a non right angle t triangle we are going to use the is either we use the cosine rule or sine rule then if we if this was to be a right angle triangle would have used the trig ratios which is the soca tor kind of um, information now here let's look at the first the data that we have we have this uh, distance we have this distance and this distance corresponds to angle O. So here we are going to get a small letter O. Then let's also look at what else do we have. Then we can see that we have this distance corresponding to L. Then let's now go back to our question. Our question is we are trying to find the angle OGL. So this angle is what we are trying to solve. Now for us to choose whether we are going to use the cosine rule or sine rule is uh, depends on it, the data that we have. So now here, if you have two distances and one angle and you are trying to find the second angle, then sine rule must be used. Now, first let's, let's consider the first part that I'm going to consider is L. Uh, the L. Why? Because the angle at L we are given is 40 degrees and also the its, I mean its corresponding side is also given. So we'll say L over sine L. So this pair, this pair has its distance and its corresponding uh, angle. Then from there, let's look at the, the angle that we are solving. So we are solving angle G, but the distance, this distance for, for, for G is not given. So you can't solve two, two things at the same time. So what you are going to do is, we are going to find this angle. Why? Because its corresponding side is given. So this will be uh, O divided by sine O. Why? Because if we are able to find this angle then we know that uh, the triangle adds up to 180 so we can add 40 plus this angle minus 180 then we have our angle g so this was the information behind this uh, problem so let's begin so l let's look at uh, distance for l is 14.2 over its angle is sine 40 then let's look at the distance for all here is 20.1 meter over then we just leave it as sine also since we are solving for this angle then we can uh, cross multiply 14.2 meters times sine o is 14 Point two meters sine o is equal to then here we are going to have sine 40 multiplied by 10.1 meters so now we can divide by 14.2 also here by 14.2 so if I cancel I can see that I have sine O is equal to so now let's use the calculator so now we have sine 40 uh, times the 10.1 then divided by 14.2 so I have I am getting a number like 0 uh, four five seven one nine four zero zero four now after finding this we need to find the 
the inverse of sine so we need to move the sine the other side giving us now o is equal to sine of inverse is equal to 0 0.45 719400 then what you do on the calculator is you press a shift then sign then you press the numbers so we have an angle about 27.2 degrees or if you want we can just round it off to the O number where we have 27 degrees so this means that the angle here is 20, 27 degrees so now if we have this 27 plus this 40 so we can find we can add the two so for us to find angle OG L so we are going to add uh, 40 plus 27 is equal to 180 since it's a triangle so OG L So this plus this is 67 is equal to 180. If we shift OG, if we shift this to the other side, OGL is equal to 180 minus 67. Our final answer OGL is equal to 180 minus 67 is giving us 113. So we have 113 as our final angle here. So this is the angle that we, we are solving. So as you can see, sine rule is very simple. Now let's get rid of this so that we create some spaces for solving the other uh, problems. Okay, now let's, let's move on. Let's look at the... Uh, Roman number two area of triangle OGL. Now let's first look at this one. The actual formula from the books is area is equal to half a B sine C. Now we need to change the letters. So the A and B denote the two distances that are making that angle. Now here we have three angles we have 40 we have 113 and 27 so we need to look at which angle are we going to use so we are going to use this 113 why because these two distances these two distances are the one that are making this angle so what they are saying is you consider the two distances so we have this distance of 10.1 and 14.2 so the angle that are formed by the two distances is the one that should be put into consideration. So therefore, where there is A and B, we are going to have L or then sine. The angle is G. So we can say area is equal to half. Distance L is 14.2 meters. Then 10.1. Then we will have sine 113. So let's just uh, multiply the numerator part. So we have 14.2 times 10.1. Then multiply by sine 13. So I'm getting about 132.01. So 018. 8061 meter squared then if we divide by 2 our final answer we get area is equal to so let's divide by 2 so i'm getting about 66.00 so this is just 66 meters squared so this is the area of this particular uh, triangle now since we we have the area so since we have the area we can now proceed to find the shortest distance 
so we are saying the area the area is about approximately since we round it off 66 meters squared now let's proceed with finding the shortest distance so we are finding the shortest distance from L to OG from L to OG so this is the distance that we are trying to solve so the line are attached by, by this green or the OG becomes our base so the shortest distance formula is you can say shortest distance is equal to two times the area multiplied by the base so the area is about 66 meters squared times 2 or 2 times as the 6 is the same then the base the base is denoted by the two letters so from L to OG so the distance of OG is 14.2 meters so we can see that there is uh, the, the, the numerator we have 2 meters so 1 m will cancel with the 1 on the denominator part so let's say 66 times uh, 2 we get 132 so 132 meters over 14.2 uh, then you can now divide by 14.2 So I have about 9.3 meters. So this is our shortest distance. And as we can see, 9.3 is less than 14.2 and 10.1. So it qualifies to be a shortest distance. Now, from there, let's look at the question B. Solve the equation. So the equation is 5 cos theta is equal to 3 for 0 up to 180. Now we can see that the sign here is positive. Okay, before we look at the sign first, let's divide both sides by 5 so that we remain with our only cos. So we divide by 5 here so we have now cos is equal to 5 into 3 is 0 0.6 now let's look at the nature of the sign is positive so we are looking at the quadrants where the cos is positive so our cos is positive in the first and the fourth quadrant now according to the limit we are only looking at the, the first and the second so we are only going to have one angle so what we are going to do is we shift this cos to the other side giving us theta is equal to cos of inverse of 0 0.6 so the angle is equal to so we can say shift cos 0 0.6 then this is giving me the value about 53 degrees so this is the angle that we are we are interested in now let's look at the Question C. Now question C is simplify. So we have 99 meter raised to the power 3. I mean sorry m raised to the power 3 n raised to the power 2 over 20 p raised to the power 2 q raised to the power 3 divided by 33 m raised to the power 4 n over 40 p raised to the power 2 q raised to the power 3 so the first step is we need to convert this uh, division into multiplication so this will give us 99 uh, m raised to the power 3 over 20 raised to the power 2 q raised to the power 3 times sorry after changing this to multiplication 
the numerator becomes the denominator so we need to flip the fraction where we are going to have uh, 20 so here we have 20 p squared q cubed divided by 33 m raised to power 4 and n <coughs> now we need to cancel so how can we cancel this how can we cancel this so let's look at 99 99 is same as if we have 33 times 3 so 3 times 3 is 9 3 times 3 is 9 so 99 is same as 33 times 3 then let's look at here we have m times m multiplied by m since we have m raised to the power 3 then n times n divided by here we have 20 times p times another p times q times q multiplied by q then let's look at the denominator 40 40 is same as 20 times 2 times p times p times q times q times another q then divided by 3 times m times m times m times m times m <coughs> now let's uh, cancel so we can cancel this 33 and here you can cancel this m this one also this so we can cancel this we cancel one n here and also one n there so let's also cancel the other side 20 20 goes then let's look at p p is this one okay what else q q q q okay so now let's look at what are we remaining with so from the numerator of the first party we only have three then three here and the n so, so three times n is three n over the denominator there is only one times n here we have these two so 2 over then from there we have the m so 3n times 2 is 6n over 1 times m is m so this is how we can simplify a, an algebraic expression like this one so that's it for this video please share and don't forget to subscribe for those that have not yet done so thanks for watching